So the definition of epilepsy is two or more unprovoked seizures or one unprovoked seizure with an abnormality of an EEG or an MRI, suggesting that someone will continue to have seizures without medication. Thus, if you have the definition or the diagnosis of epilepsy, that essentially means that you have seizures. In the US population, 10% of people can have a one-time seizure. Of those 10%, only about 30% will go on to develop epilepsy. So as an epilepsy specialist, it's up to us to ask the questions to determine who may be at risk for more seizures or who may need medication to stop a future seizure. So when you start the journey of epilepsy, the idea is to get the testing you need and to get it as soon as possible. We know that epilepsy is a progressive disease. We know that it can cause stigma. It can limit education. It can limit employment. People may not be able to drive. Not everyone gets to an epilepsy specialist in the beginning of their journey, but it's never too late. And so if someone you know has seizures, ask about it. Ask the provider if you need a referral so that you can make sure you're getting the testing that is needed to determine what's going on.